let's talk about module three. And so module three and module four, they kind of work together. And I get really nervous, but also excited, nervous to talk about these topics. And so this is becoming supernatural. Wait, you still get nervous I after get like 10,000 hours of teaching? I still get nervous. I, especially when there's this material that I'm really passionate about and that I want to share with our students, that gets me excited and nervous at the same time. How about you? I still get nervous after all these years, all these teachings. Even when I, I have my teacher come in class, my nerves, they light up. And I'm like, okay, I remember this place. What do we go back to? All the basics, meditation, breathe, where's my attention, where's my awareness? And, um, and so that is, those are the steps of kind of diving into the supernatural self, not this self, because his last name is self, <laughs> but yourself. And, uh, and how to understand the science of mindfulness and in our anatom, ana anatomical body, in our energetic body, and also tapping into the, um, the quantum world via Reiki. Uh, Reiki is one of our practices that we've evolved into. And, and we infuse it into our classes now. And it's um, a really amazing healing experience that you can add on top of what you already teach. And so in this level one Reiki, we teach our students how to kind of unwrap that ability that all humans have to promote healing within our bodies. So this is more about your self healing and how to connect to and balance your energy. These tools that we teach are so personal. I use these practices daily in my in my yoga practice. I do in my doing shavasana. I give myself Reiki, and we want to show you that it is possible to connect to that um, energetic world in a very real time. Actually, receiving the Reiki one attunement through Reiki Master of Masters, Catherine Mayerson. And we've worked with her for many, many years, and we're very excited that she is part of this, um, of this coursework. Very excited. So getting to the understanding of how our biography and emotions and feeling affect our actual physical biology of our bodies um, and the state of being that we're in and how that connects to the energetics of everything around us. Um, and really by understanding, getting a good grasp on that, that's how we become supernatural because we understand that we're not just, um, what's going on here isn't just affecting what's in our body, it's affecting all the stuff that's around us, the people, the places, what we're pulling, we're pulling towards us, what we're pushing away from us. Um, and we start to understand a bit of the subconscious and the psyche um, and our inner trappings that keep us in our hamster wheel. And um, this module we dive into deep breath work and um, into access those al um, al alternative states of consciousness, how to connect to that psyche and how um, our subconscious rather is communicating with us and learning to understand or start to see and open the door of what that experience is like. Yeah, hopefully at some point in time, um, psychedelics will be legalized to where you can use that. But until that point, you can use a breath to enter almost the same state of consciousness for um, psychedelics like that. However, we do offer that on some of our retreats where it is legal, um, but here in the U.S. it's not. And so we use the some breath. Some places in the U.S. Some are. places. Um, so now we use the breath to help get into those altered states of consciousness where you can really find the light of growth and understanding of, the, of yourself. 